Caitlin, slower start than you really got into it. What was your first impression of your first game in the W? I thought it was physical. Um, I don't know, obviously it wasn't like the best start in the first half for myself. Uh, getting into foul trouble and then you got to sit on the bench and try to come back to the end of the game and get into a little bit of a flow, but um, obviously too many turnovers. Um, that's not going to get the job done, but I think just a lot of things to learn from. I didn't think we played well, and we had cut it to six in the third quarter, so um, I think that's a positive you look at. Like We really did not play a good game, but we were right there at moments, and then it kind of got away from us at the end of the third and fourth quarter. Um, we didn't have the greatest start, so... I think just a lot to learn from. You know, it's the first one. There's gonna be good ones. There's gonna be bad ones. And you know, like we said in the locker room, like we play on Thursday. You gotta learn from it and move on and be ready to go. Got a front row on the left too, Scott. Caitlin, there's so much change going on in your world. How do you be the best version of yourself while adapting to so much change? Yeah, I think it's, you know, I think just going day by day and you know trying to do the best you can no matter what. Obviously, you know, I would have liked to play a little better tonight. I think all of us would, would say that if we were all sitting up here and as a team collectively, we would have liked to play better and, and shown a better product because I thought we've had some really good practices leading up to this game. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, learn from it, move on. Um, you know, things are gonna come fast. That's how it is. This, this season goes fast. There's 39 games left and plenty of opportunities to do what we want to do but like coach said like you have to be able to learn and watch it and you know that's the way to get better because there's only gonna be so much we can do on the court tomorrow um, before we play the Liberty at home. See Ben second row on the left. Hey, over here. Mm -hmm. um, Christy said that she felt like you guys got punched in the mouth um, mm -hmm. early on. I guess Caitlin do you yeah. agree with that assessment of you know the start? Yeah, for sure. I, I'd agree with Coach. I didn't think we came out, and, and I thought our first couple of possessions were okay, and then they kind of went on a run, and we really struggled to score. Um, we didn't really get into much, um, so I would I would agree with Coach for sure. Front row on the right. Kaylin, when it came to the turnovers, you mentioned you felt like you had too many. What was particularly the issue? Was it um, just the way that the team was guarding you, DJ in particular, anything that stood out? I think... Definitely the physicality. I think also just like some uncharacteristic stuff. Like I pick up the ball and travel. I dribble off my foot. I pass it on the inbound. I, I turn it over. Um, so just a few things that are just, you know, you have to be crisper. Like those are situations where, you know, you're just giving the other team the ball. Um, I think collectively, obviously, you know, 25 turnovers is, is going to make it really hard for us to win. I, coach said they took 66 shots. We took 50. Like. You know, it's, it's really hard to win games when you give them 16 more opportunities than we had. Like, it would be impressive if we won this game doing that. So um, I think some were uncharacteristic. I think their ball screen traps and hedges were really good. And, you know, we didn't fill up collectively to help out whoever the point guard was at the time to, you know, give a passing angle. And we turned it over a lot there. But, you know, they also capitalized on a lot of the turnovers that we had. Like in transition, you know, AT made great plays. They finished layups. They found open people. So... Um, not only were they turning us over, but they were capitalizing on those two. Second round, Mel. Caitlin, you talked a lot about gratitude mm -hmm. pregame. I think you used the phrase, how lucky are we, twice. Mm -hmm. I can, just, In spite of your disappointment, I can still see some mm -hmm. gratitude on your face. I mean, in spite mm -hmm. of that, I guess, what are your emotional takeaways from this game? Yeah, I think obviously I'm disappointed and nobody likes to lose. Like, that's how it is. But I don't think you can beat yourself up too much about you know one game I, I think I don't think that's going to help this team I don't think if you know no matter who it is on this team nobody can do that with how they played and just learn from it and move on and you know I guess I'm just excited for Thursday to get back home and have our home opener and um you know I thought I I thought it took me a little while to settle into the game um, I thought the second half was a lot better minus some of the turnovers but uh, just getting more comfortable and that's just going to come with experience and getting getting to play with these girls and the more games I play the more comfortable I'm going to get so um yeah I mean we definitely need to have more assists too I think you, I can find my my post a little better as well front row in the middle uh Kaylin this one for each you if I could Kaylin for for you, you you just talked about it but in the second half it seemed like you were able to create a little bit more space to mm -hmm. be able to find some more of your shots I'm wondering the uh -huh. ways you did that and then uh Liz for you I, I saw from Indiana Fever PR you guys 
uh, 50 of the first 64 games you've scored in double digits is this young team comes together. How much do you take it as kind of a responsibility to be the rock, to be that given? Um, I mean, we have a lot of great players that can score the ball. Um, our role on this team is, you know, just to help rebound, run hard, and score when I can. So, I, you know, I do what I can when, when I'm in the game. Yeah, I would say definitely in the second half, I just felt we ran stuff a little bit better. We got into some more actions. We swung the ball a little bit better. Um, I think I was able to get a few mismatches and, and capitalize on those too. Uh, second row on the left, Cassandra. For each of you, you know, this is a tough game for any young team early with the veterans on the sun. Mm -hmm. do you, what kind of benefit do you see if you see one of having a game like this early as you guys progress throughout the season? Uh, I would say with us starting with a team like this, you know, like not this is as hard as it gets, but you know, the the ceiling is high for this. And I mean, like she said, we bounced back on Thursday and we played another great team. So it's just about being a pro and just approaching games and just executing plays and doing stuff like that. Yeah, I'd agree with us, for sure. Anybody else? Far left there. <clears throat> Kayla, can you just speak to what was your takeaway from playing against Alyssa Thomas for the first time? I'm sure you'd seen her, watched her on film, seen her on TV, mm -hmm. but playing, playing her in person. What was your takeaway from that? Yeah, I think just like she impacts the game in every single area, whether it's offensively, whether it's defensively, whether it's scoring, whether it's passing, whether it's rebounding. Like Those are the hardest players to guard, especially a player like her that can get the ball off the rim and push it up the court. Like It just creates matchup problems. Um, you know, I thought we did a, a pretty good job. Obviously, she, you know, she's going to do what she does every single night. That's just how good she is. And, um, you know, obviously I wasn't really matched up with her a ton on offense or defense. She guarded me there a little at the end of the game. But um, I think more than anything, the best the best part of her is just, you know, she impacts the game in every single area on both sides of the ball. Front row in the middle here. Kayla, now that you've played your uh, WNBA debut, do you feel uh, as though that there's some weight lifted off of your shoulders? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I would have enjoyed to play better. I think all of us would have enjoyed to play better. I think we would have loved to win. Um, I didn't really feel much pressure coming into this game. I was trying to just, you know, do whatever I can to help the team and help us win. And um, like I said, you just go back to the drawing board. You got to learn from it. And um, you know, I'm sure we're excited to to play on Thursday. Back to the front row on the left, Scott. Kayla, there was that moment at the end of the first half where Aaliyah kind of pulled you aside and had a message. Mm -hmm. um, you were probably the one doing that maybe at Iowa. Mm -hmm. What can you share about maybe what that did for you? And I don't know if that helped settle you or, or calm you down a little bit. Yeah, I think just, you know, just expecting the physicality was the biggest thing. Like, those aren't calls you're going to get. Like, they're going to get those calls. It is what it is. And um, I think that's that was basically all she said. Like, just, just be calm, be aggressive, and, and be you. Uh, front row on the left, Angela. For both of you, we'll start with Melissa. Thursday, home opener, expecting a huge crowd with so much support in Indiana. What will that be like for both of you to start off the season at home? Uh, I think it'll be exciting. I mean, it's been a lot of talk about it, and it's, it's exciting to finally come. And, I mean, we're just glad to, you know, go out there again and just give them a show and just play hard. Yeah, for sure. I think any time you get to have a home opener and – have the support that we've had. Like our preseason game was tremendous, and now that we get to do it for, you know, for real, I think it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be loud. Um, we're going to need to use the environment to our advantage, and you know, um, I think just just learn and move on and get ready to play and um, embrace it and enjoy it because it is special too.